Many know Link as that guy who defeated Ganon and saved Princess Zelda, but what most don't know is that Link worked the side hustle as a Hyrule Instacart premium shopper. My parents could not have been more embarrassed of me. Aww. I think somebody's texting you. My Instacart shopper. <laughs> With an overall rating of 5 stars from over 300 Instacart customers, Link was drowning in the rupees, which is how he bought his Ducati and iPad Pro. One day, Link got an order to get a bottle of milk in Hatino Village for his single mother up in Deepakala, and the customer offered a 10 rupee tip for going across the whole map with the bottle of milk, starting from the Great Fairy Fountain in the Gerudo Desert, to Robbie's research lab in Akala. Seeing as Link had recently blown all his money on vape juice, he really needed this money. Definition so he accepted the challenge. Insanity. Before he starts though, I encourage you to subscribe and like the video so more people will see the hell that Link had to go through. Let's get started. While getting the milk in Hatino Village, this really cute girl talked to him and he almost got her snap, but she was just being friendly to get him into her shop. When he asked about the milk inside, the shopkeeper was cranky and Link almost had to throw hands, but he stopped himself because he didn't want to go back to the Hyrule Penitentiary for another assault charge. Once Link got to the Great Fairy Fountain, he was ready to do the customer's challenge and get that $10 rupee tip. Before he starts, let me explain the rules real quick. Link felt really energized and confident to get this challenge done, but that quickly turned into soul-crushing despair. Upon leaving the shade near the fairy fountain, he realized the desert was sweltering hot, and he was wearing his Gucci sweater and poncho. Despite the heat, he refused to take it off because everyone knows a hype beast does whatever he has to to wear his Gucci. After hiking for about 3 minutes, he got really thirsty and realized the liquid he needed to rejuvenate his body was right in front of him. The white, creamy, luscious milk was too much for Link to resist, and he ended up gulping all of the customer's milk. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Luckily, he had bought three milks, but he was still scared he would receive a suspension on his Instacart account. He had to get something to protect himself from the sun, so he bartered with a local kid and got the ingredients for a chili elixir for 50 rupees. With his new heat protection, Link was able to trudge through the sand safely. However, milk was valuable in the desert, so there were dairy thieves he had to watch out for. Like, more dairy thieves than the entire population of Skyrim. I haven't got all need something. Make it quick. Most of them weren't afraid to kill for a drop of milk, so they carried weapons and tried to kill Link multiple times. One time, he got close enough to see Gerudo Town in the distance, but sadly, a milk dragon caught onto his scent, and he was unable to defend himself. Let me got him up. Determined to reach Gerudo Town, he took a route that stayed as far from the Milk Dragon as possible. He finally made it to Gerudo Town, but he wasn't allowed to rest there because of his bow appearance. So he had to keep going. But when he got to the entrance of a canyon, he discovered what would truly be the most difficult obstacle in this challenge. <laughs> he could defend himself, but he couldn't when he was carrying the milk. If only he had a companion as strong as him to protect his precious lactose. Oh. Nintendogs, only for Nintendo DS. He set off again, this time feeling comfortable with the protection Wolf Link gave him. But then, Wolf Link died. Wolf Link would not be getting any treats today. He literally did not help Link whatsoever. It was still nice having him as a companion though, so Link spawned him in again. He made it past Gerudo Town again, and the Yiga clan member didn't spawn at the canyon entrance this time. He stopped at a stable in the canyon to play with a dog, then continued on his journey. There were a ton of milk thieves that tried to stop him, but he found out he could dodge arrows by just running back and forth. But his journey was cut short 
when he ran into a pile of rocks blocking the entire canyon. While trying to find a way over, Link dropped the milk and contemplated why he was still trying to do this. Why are we still here? Just to suffer? He moved the rocks out of the way and tried again, but when he somehow got shot by a stray arrow, he decided to change the rules. Any stables that Link reached would be his checkpoints, and he would start from there if he dropped the milk. Hey bro, watch your jet! Watch your jet bro, watch your jet! This was where Link reached his breaking point. He could now dodge almost all arrows, but when big Yiga people appeared, it was impossible for him to dodge this attack where they summoned a mini volcano under his feet. The only thing it could do was hope they didn't use that stupid volcano attack. One time, he got super close to the stable, but the gods were angry he tried to hit on that shop girl while dating Princess Zelda, so they stopped him. No! No! God! Please, no! 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 Why are we still here? Just to suffer? Every night, I can feel my leg. By this point, the customer had been waiting 8 hours for an order that was supposed to take 30 minutes. So Link just gave up and decided to live out the rest of his life as a McDonald's cook. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of Link's struggles. If this video does well, I will make a part 2 of trying to carry a bottle of milk across Hyrule and other Hyrule challenges. But for now guys, I'm just gonna say... Until next time.